On YouTube, there are so many wonderful creators that are making amazing videos. While this is the case, there are tons and tons of them that aren't getting the exposure that they desire. Even after creating videos for a large amount of time, sometimes even working for years on their channel. I don't have the magic wand of exposure. And obviously some have more power than me in that specific area. But helping my fellow creators is something that I'm happy to do. Before I continue, I have to give a disclaimer. If you are not on this list, Please don't feel bad. I'm subscribed to so many channels and had to cut down this list so many times Otherwise, this would be a 20 minute video and honestly that is way too long for this kind of content With that said there are six different categories animation film music comedy personality and vlogging the featured animated boys are Mateo tunes sketchy connections blue butter lemon and not serious. Mateo has been a friend for a while and is actually my favorite animator. He creates comedic animations that are generally about his life experiences, as well as topics that he can put a funny spin on. Here's how I picture that situation. Little kids going up to a door, knock on the door, they get their candy, they almost walk away. Dude goes to grab his acoustic, he's like, wait kids, hold on, I got something for you. Watch this. Welcome to the Hotel California! Can you not, please? I didn't need this today, thank you. The art style which he's proficient in is one that I really enjoy. So much so that Mateo is actually the one who made my channel avatar. He's also been dabbling in music, funnily enough, named Mateo Tunes, which very much reminds me of lo-fi music. Currently, Mateo also has an ongoing comic series called Swords Kit, which has the Master ETH approval. I also interviewed him on my podcast called Creative Minds, a podcast where me and Amarias interview other creative people. Sketchy Connections is a very interesting animated channel that combines both animation and gaming. While I am aware that people have made animated versions of gaming videos for years, I find the way that Sketchy Connections does it to be quite intriguing, funny, and entertaining. The relationship between the three guys and the style of editing that combines both the gaming footage and the animated characters blends really nicely and makes an overall fun experience. I'm a pro, bro, boy. I'm yeah, a pro, him. man. Bush to bush. There's team tactics, My bro. If you, if you move in, tell us you move in. Blue Butter Lemon is a person that I met on a Discord server that makes cute animations. While the channel also consists of song mashups, the animations are definitely my favorites. One reason why I find them so interesting is because they are short little stories that are easily consumable, which makes it unbelievably easy to binge all of them. Another factor is how alive the animation looks, and how it affects how this little guy interacts with different objects. There's also no sound, which at first I thought to be a downfall actually adds to the experience of storytelling with a show-not-tell mentality, which genuinely invests me in these bite-sized stories. My newest discovery on the animation scene is a small boy called Not Serious. Originally, he started off animating other YouTubers, but then dived into making original animations and updating his art style. Dear goodness. Are they amazing? They're very fun to watch, especially since they're not serious at all, and tend to trail off subject which is half the comedy behind it, and carries it well with the animation. It feels very unscripted, which I don't believe is bad for a style like this, and adds to this energetic ramble animation. Definitely one of the more unique animation channels I've stumbled across recently. Phone cases, they exist. They're a thing, I think. They sort of look like post it notes covered in flex tape. No, they don't. But if you don't use one, then your phone cracks, which looks cool until it's gross, because it's covered by your blood. But you can't put a phone case on a laptop either, because that's weird and you're too big. Next up is film, which includes Zidanian, Jaden Stewart, and Melanie Ann Aher. These people definitely deserve more exposure than they currently have, because let's be honest, making a good movie is really, really difficult. Two of them I met at BlimeyCon, and the other one is a dear friend of mine. Zidanian is the dear friend of mine. The cinematography is really well thought out, the visual effects are extremely high quality, and some of them are pretty funny. The one that I recommend checking out and the one that is best in my opinion is The Master Trials, which is a Star Wars themed film. I also interviewed him on my podcast. From talking to him, he's planning some films in the future that he's really excited about, and I can't wait to see what he has in store. Jaden Stewart is the one who submitted notes in the Blimey Con film contest. This is my first exposure to him, which is really good because I loved the film that he submitted. And it basically 
basically won the film contest since it won two awards. His earlier videos document his journey as a filmmaker, as well as the films themselves. You know, great job, Ethan, for also mentioning that he used to make Lego animations. Thank you for writing that in the script and totally not forgetting it while you're, you were editing. Jaden's films are very story-driven and knows how to build tension. He also likes to mostly rely on a situation or an atmosphere rather than writing dialogue, which sucks you into the world visually. Melanie Ann Ahern is one of the most interesting filmmakers I know. A lot of her films are very cryptic in nature and very artistic. The ones that I find the most intriguing are the ones that take the show-not-tell story approach and are carried by a song that is sometimes lyrical. This also includes her stop-motion videos that take the same approach. Her films are very much like a precious stone, especially when cut and polished or engraved. Next is music. Jobin. Jobin is a music channel that does covers, except his creativity leans towards the use of trumpet and piano to play music from video games, TV shows, and movies. To help diversify his instrumentation, he'll collaborate with other music channels who are proficient in other musical instruments, as to add a different element to his music. Really high quality stuff. Com <laughs> Comedy is the next section. <laughs> I should probably leave that in. These people have made me genuinely laugh, which hooked me into their content. Plus their content is really fun to watch. The first is Adler Davidson. Adler's comedy is based on the fact that he is a YouTuber who's self-aware enough to know that he's a YouTuber. This becomes evident with this album literally titled Self Obsessed. Internet famous. And his show called The Adler Show. Now let's try the thousand dollar milk. I'm gonna drink it out of this uh, trophy that I won at VidCon last year. His comedic genius also leads him to make skits, which are very <laughs> creative. Shoot for the moon, and if you miss, you'll land among the stars. But either way, you'll die because you shot yourself into space, idiot. The second is Jake Robinson who may or may not be on a future podcast episode. I found Jake actually on a YouTuber Facebook group due to his very interesting way of distributing his video, which caught my eye and hooked me into his content. He's a comedy channel who's dabbling in personality-based content, but definitely shines in his skits. Your total is 321. Is that gonna be cash or credit today? I'll pay with... <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, have a nice day. The anime video, currently, in my opinion, is his best video. The third is Skinny Samurai. I don't think I've ever said that out loud. His comedic videos are sometimes shorter, which remind me a lot of Gus Johnson, which is another skit channel. What do you mean? It's your turn to do the dishes. Look, you either respect the schedule or start paying rent. All right. That works. I like his personality and his editing, which shows up quite a lot whenever he makes sit-down vlog-style content, which isn't too often, but it's kind of a nice change of pace every once in a while. He's also involved in a paranormal dark comedy series called Dante's Office, which I'm actually super, super excited about. Next is personality-based content. What do I mean by that exactly? I mean channels that I follow because I like the person and the content that they make, but they make a wide variety of content. These people include Emerius, Audrey Ember, and Eric Wen. Emerius has been a YouTube buddy of mine for about two years and whose content I really really like. I've never actually said this out loud ever but Emerius kind of beats me in the editing game which I'm a little, little salty about but I think that's because he has a green screen and I don't. I've done multiple collaborations with him. I like his style of editing. He's a great guy. Is a win win win. These next two people I was considering putting in the vlogging section. However their videos are more so centered around topics and not really the places they've been. Audrey's channel centers around travel, cinematography, and college related topics as said by her about section. Audrey's personality is very genuine, especially since her content revolves around herself, not in an egotistical way, but as a way for her to document her journey as a creative person and to provide value to other people. Eric Wynn is kind of in the same vein as Audrey, except his goal is to encourage accountability, thoughtfulness, and self-improvement, which is also very clear in his about section. The about section is very important, guys. Please actually take time and write something in there. It's very motivational and contains real topics that creative people like myself relate to. His motto that he goes by in his videos is Sharing stories and ideas to encourage and hopefully give you an opportunity to think more deeply. Which I honestly love and it makes me wish I had a cool motto like that. <laughs> honestly, Eric is the only one in this group of people that closely relates to my style of content. In the sense of his motto and is a pretty analytical guy. Now in the straight up vlogging category is Life Like Josie. Josie is a vlogger who moved to LA 
way to pursue her dreams. I discovered Josie through Psych IRL, which is another really good channel I recommend, but I wanted to keep this centered around smaller YouTubers. Josie's editing and her passion for video creation is what hooked me into her videos. Me as a person, I'm always so sure that my dreams will come true, you know, something like that. I'm always, you know, very adamant about succeeding and what I do, and I know I will. I hope you take time out of your day to glance at these people's creativity. I truly believe in and support every single person that I've mentioned. If any one of these channels pique your interest, I strongly recommend you check it out. I'm thankful for each and every one of them, and I'm thankful for you watching my video. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Go eat some pumpkin pie. Go spend some time with your family. Get off YouTube. If you're new here, please subscribe and press the bell to all of the channels that I mentioned. Ha, you thought I was going to see me. Well, well, no, check them out. Sub, sub to them. They make great content, mate. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Listen, I made an entire video about them. So obviously they're up to my to my quality standard of good content.